I've been trying to record this video, but there's a freaking fly that won't leave me alone. And I will kill it. I missed! that I am recording a video right now because I haven't been able to record a video like it's been either I am like too sad for it or I'm like not in the mood or I don't want to get ready or like I just I don't know I feel like my I feel like my life is a mess right now and it's just kind of like all over the place so I don't even know if to make a video or not I don't want you guys to think that I'm crazy because like one thing I wake up I feel like I'm one person and I'm going through life and everything's fine and then the next day I feel like a complete different person like I feel like I have multiple multiple personalities like I don't know I don't know what's going on with me lately I don't I don't know anything in my life what I do know is that I got a job so hopefully with me getting a job that will facilitate me moving out on my own with my two kids um, aside from getting a job okay this is like distracting me I have been focusing all my energy on like getting the right people in my life like people that make me feel happy and joyful and just like I don't have to try too hard like sometimes I feel that people just make me try too hard like I cannot be a certain person because then they don't believe it so then I have to like pretend to be someone no not pretend like i don't know how to explain it i feel like people make me try too hard in a sense that i am doing something but then they think that is with another intention like i'm this evil person and then so i have to like explain myself as to why i'm doing the things that i'm doing because i feel like people don't believe who i am that, yeah that's exactly how i feel i don't know if who I am is not normal, because that's how they make me feel. I don't know! <laughs> but anyways, my point is that I've had really positive people. Like, people that I don't have to try with. Like, I just am who I am, and I don't have to prove to them that I am that person. And I'm just, I'm just me. Like, this is who I am, and I don't have to make excuses. I don't have to give explanations like I'm just me and that's really been helping me that's what's been helping me the most but I do have to say though like the hardest thing for me right now is just coming home to my ex we don't really have like that connection anymore or like I don't know we're just friends at this point but at the same time we're attracted to each other because we're good looking people <laughs> no, I'm just kidding <laughs> You know, we were married for seven years, we're still attracted, but it doesn't mean that we need a relationship. I just feel like a lot of people confuse love with a relationship because they're not the same. So just because we love each other does not mean that we should be in a relationship. Love does not mean that you should be in a relationship with that person. We were so young when we got married that we kind of just went along with it and we kind of just did everything that you were supposed to do. So. You know, you get married and yeah, whoopsies, I get pregnant and then we have another kid and we're together and we're trying to make it work and, and then it turned into a routine and then I'm 25 years old, married, and I, I don't know who I am. I don't know what happened. Like, how did I just get here? Like, I woke up one day and it was like, oh, wow, you went out with some other girl? What? How? Why? When? What? Like, what was the reasoning? And it's because sometimes you just stay with that person because you just want to stay with that person like it's easy and it, it's something that you already know and you're too afraid to do anything else because that's what you know i just feel like it gets really confusing it gets really confusing some days because he's still my best friend he's still the person that i go to and that's just i just don't think that's never going to change but i i think that i confuse that with me wanting to be with him because once I get comfortable with the idea that I am going to be with him then I just I don't want it anymore if that makes sense <laughs> if I know that I'm gonna be with this man for the rest of my life I'd be comfortable I'd be happy 
But I wouldn't, it wouldn't fulfill me. It wouldn't make me feel full and energetic and happy. And lately, because there's certain people that have come into my life, I feel that way. Like I feel full. I just can't help but be happy. Like that is priceless to me. I cannot help but to be happy. I cannot explain to you how real happiness feels until you feel it for yourself. And it sucks because we're so scared. We, I was so scared. I was so scared to try something new and to just let go and to feel certain things. And now that I've actually let myself go, I am happy. And I was so afraid to be happy. I was just scared. How, how I'm thinking in my head, how am I scared to try something new if I already know that what I had wasn't working? It mind trips me so much that I knew that something wasn't working, but I still wanted it. Why? Why? There are so many people in the world, like there, there's billions of people in this world, and I'm obsessing over this one freaking guy that doesn't even value me. The fool me. He just wants a piece of me. And you can't just have a piece of me because I cannot suppress the rest of who I am. I need someone that wants the whole pie. The whole freaking pie, not just one piece. <laughs> Anyways, I know I'm over dramatic and like I'm over lower the place, but that's just that's just me, you know? Like you either want the whole thing or just don't eat my pie. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so yeah, I got a job. Um, so I can start making some income. I haven't been making videos because like I said, I've been, I've been freaking lost. Like, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know where I want to go. And it's all because I'm stuck. I feel like I, I read this quote the other day. I don't know who said it or anything like that, but it said that you cannot get better in the place that made you sick. Like that like resonated with me so much because I cannot move forward from this point. Like now I know that what I had wasn't working and that I want to do something different, but I have not taken any steps towards it. So I'm stuck. Like I'm in the same place. I'm not going to grow. I'm not going to go anywhere because I'm in the same atmosphere. I'm in the same situation. Like I come home to the same guy and even though we're not together, that energy is still there. And that's just not... It's not healthy for me. Like once I get that done and settled, then I will know for sure what I want to do, who I want to be, what's next, because right now I'm stuck. I feel like it's repeat, repeat, repeat every day. I just feel so suffocated sometimes, like, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm such a bitch because I, I feel like I'm being selfish because I want to be happy and I want to do me. And I'm not worried. I'm, I don't want to worry about his feelings. And it sounds bad. I don't know. I, for me, it sounds bad because I took care of him for so long. That now not caring makes me feel so freaking guilty. I just feel like I still have an obligation to him somehow because I just think it's because we still live together or something. Like, I don't know. I'm just ready, y'all. I'm ready to, like, go to the next step in my life. Like, I just want to experience new things I don't know I don't I don't know what I want do women ever know what they want they never know but let me tell you something we do know what we don't want maybe we don't know what we want because maybe we've never had it how do you know that you want something if you've never had it if you've never experienced it so when you ask us what do you want we don't know okay we don't know what we want we just want you to show us what we want and that's a hard job. I mean, it is, it's a hard job, but it's possible, I think. And I don't know, I think that if you love someone, you know what those things are. You just know, you just pay attention, you know? I don't know, maybe I'm picky, I don't know. You tell me, am I crazy? Am I a crazy person? Because I don't know many people that think like me. And maybe that's what I need to find, people that think like me, that way, you know, I don't, I don't think that I am the crazy one because I have been convinced that I'm the crazy one for so long that eventually you start to believe it. You start to believe you're crazy and you start to believe the other person. Isn't that weird? Isn't that crazy? But anyways, that's my life. I... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will try my hardest to make more. 
but honestly I don't know what kind of videos like what kind of videos you guys want to see because I don't know what I'm making I don't know I don't know anything in my life anyways that's it I'm gonna stop talking because I always I can talk all day all day I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will talk to you guys on the next one and if there's any video you want to see let me know because I am down I'm down bye Mwah.